So there is one update I want to talk about, but there's just not enough information on it as of right now from what I've seen. I dug through the Chinese wiki. I looked through the other wiki. I'm pretty sure someone in my um, in my viewer comments can know or knows exactly what's going on as of right now with this update, but I do want to talk about it because this is actually very, very interesting. Like no one's like everyone overlooked it everyone's too busy with like allergy meta or something there's, there's just not enough details right now going on with this update so if you guys don't know if we were going to notice right here in the bottom right corner you go to the update now there's a list of things going on right here right we have oaf skins we have gear lab update these are the things that people see but there's one update right here if we scroll down here adjusted the overall damage attribute of 140 mm through 180 mm medium artillery upwards so basically if you guys don't know what 140 through 188 mm, uh, mm guns are those are light cruiser guns so once again we're going to filter this by light cruisers but we're going to have other cruisers as well too there's going to be light cruiser stuff here so oh my god i was going to do this way i think this is going to be much better um we go to plymouth here we do this basically all these guns got an upgrade Right, all these are 152s or 155s or something. All these got an upgrade. So, Light Cruiser got massive, massive chunk. If I recall correctly, I don't know who it was, but someone said it was 20% increase. Now, I don't know if this is factual. Again, someone in here must know what it is because I, I looked through this. I looked through the Chinese wiki right here. No one's talking about it in the comment section as well, too. Like, I have no idea what it is, so... Someone in here must know what it is. But what they told me was it was 20%. If it is true, it's 20% upgrade. This is massive. This is absolutely massive upgrade. You may not, you guys may think light cruiser right now are kind of whatever, but they are have been they have been in the rise a bit. Uh Plymouth is a very powerhouse right now. Hell in the meta showed her showed off her uniqueness in her in the last meta fight. Some of them are pretty good right now. Some of them are are pretty good. So right now. I say Plymouth got the best buff right now because she was already a monster. Now she has a gun upgrade by 20%. Now she can become an absolute monster right now. So that's one good thing. But I do want to know, what's like the overall attribute like increase? Is it just like damage increase? If it's like reload increase? I want to know exactly what's going on with this. Like they, they don't show like a like information page. I don't know why, but they just don't. I want to see what actually happens with these gears and like what buffs or changes they had to them to, that made them so good we can't really test it anymore on the previous fight because if it was queen elizabeth meta again i'll just run another uh run and see how much damage i do this time compared to before but that is, is not possible now because allergy meta is a thing now and it just resets the fight so we have no real comparison compared to back then unless you did like let's say the arbiter fight then you could probably test it back then to now but not everyone did the Arbiter, so now you can't really test it. You can't really determine what, how much of an increase the new update has given us compared to what we had before. But regardless though, it does say that the, uh, the gears have been updated. So I'm going to assume they're buffs. I'm assuming they're good buffs. And I want to see like these kind of things more into the game. I, see, I feel like as of right now... Light cruisers definitely need a damage increase, but honestly, light cruisers nowadays are used way more than heavy cruisers. Heavy cruiser right now has eaten the bottom of the of the bucket. Like they they are absolutely awful right now. If you were talking about end game content, because we have large cruisers for tanking and DPS, and we have other the other like light cruisers can offer buffs and DDs can do torpedo stuff. Heavy cruisers are in a really 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 bad spot right now. So, um. That's more of a ship instead of guns, though. But regardless, whatever. Uh, light cruisers, guns got a pretty nice upgrade. Uh, I think Plymouth got the best benefits from this, so that's good for her. And yeah, uh, I do want to see what you guys want to have to say about this update, though. I do want more information on this. If you guys have more information on these uh, light cruiser gun buffs, feel free to share it because I actually want to know. What kind of buffs we got with these light cruiser guns so share it with me in the comments and all that jazz and i'll go ahead and take a look at it so discuss amongst yourselves i'm pretty excited about these updates mainly because i use plymouth a lot so that's one thing and yeah uh, tell me what you guys think about it uh there's more videos to come guys stay tuned for that and i'll see you guys in the next video as always thanks for watching